What? What on earth? A naked, headless bandit. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Okay, I returned to Fall Creek, had a good night's sleep, and now it's time to talk to Reinhardt. I thought I heard his voice. There he is. Reinhardt! Reinhardt! I won your damn fights for you! Boy, did you ever. We haven't had a challenger that exciting. Oh, since... Oh, uh, I can't remember when. Don't get too excited. You said you were finished with that place, remember? Oh, um, yes, uh, of course I am. But I'm sure you can see how addictive it can become, can't you? No, I don't see how addictive it is. I swear, if you don't get that lumber cut and shipped, I'll be back to see you. Why? You do have a short temper, don't you? Why so angry? I don't like getting swindled like this. And we're trying to rebuild a city, and it's being derailed by you and your gambling problems! Well, you'll get your lumber soon enough. Please tell Mr. Janus I will have a shipment out from tomorrow. No one is getting swindled by me. And what about the discount you promised? Oh yes, that. How about the first two shipments are free of charge? And I can take off, say, 10% for the rest. Here is a new contract for Mr. Janus. Please give him the warmest regards, will ya? Alright, that will be acceptable. Now you'd better get to work. You're right. Goodbye. All right. Let's get back to Helgen. What? The gates have been closed. And locked. What's going on in here? Guard? Is there something the matter? All right, I guess not. Okay, let me find Marcus Janus. Now, oh, there's Marcus. Marcus Janus. You defeated Subra, the grand champion from elsewhere. Fails to tell your grandkids indeed. Yes, I'm sure. I've got things settled with Reinhardt. He sent a new he sent new discounted contracts. What? New contracts? Discounts, you say? What happened? Well, it's a bit of a long story. It's kind of why I'm dressed in black. I took off my mask, though, so I didn't frighten anyone here. Maybe so. But I'll bet it will make for quite a tale to tell your grandchildren around a campfire someday. <laughs> ah, how I envy you. If only I were but a younger man. Hmm. Ah. Forgive my mindless ramblings of younger days. It's just an old soldier's dreams. Anyway. This says we will receive a considerable savings, and the shipments will begin immediately. Well done. Now we can get that old inn finished and start on the rest of the town. Was there anything else you needed? No. You've worked yourself out of a job with me. And again, thank you. But I believe Valerius has more information for you. Please see him at your earliest convenience. Okay.
wonder what could be going on. Val? Rebuild a town. <laughs> if it were anyone but Marcus, I'd say they were mad. I still say he's mad, too. Hell, maybe we're all mad. Maybe. You wanted to see me? Yes. I wanted to be absolutely certain before I spoke with you, but it's been confirmed by my sources. There is indeed a slavery network in operation here in Skyrim. What? And all clues point to my old nemesis, Arendelle, as its chief operator. They're capturing citizens, whole families, and even their children, and selling them as slaves. I'm afraid only the gods know what's happening to these poor souls after that. What can I do to help? Arundel has certainly covered his tracks well, so... We have very little, if anything, to go on. All we know is that he specifically requested a transfer here, and to be assigned as overseer of all prison operations in Skyrim. It was certainly convenient, was it not? Be that as it may, fortunately one of their guards had loose lips at precisely the right moment. And you may remember Korst saying he spoke of his relationship with some whore at the Tallmass Tavern. I know, it's not much. But maybe she can provide us with something else to investigate. Can you see what you can find out from her? Okay, sure. Do you know where the Tallmass Tavern is? Here, I'll mark it on your map. Oh, thank you. Alright, good day. Let's see what we've got here. All right, it's right near Miko's shack. Oh, ain't this a surprise? Oh, no. What? What on earth? A naked, headless bandit. Another one. take anything from her. Alright, well, let me get over here. I guess it's an inn over here. It's so dark. Oh, this is it. There, I might as well get rid of my ebony flesh, so as not to appear threatening. Oh my. Hello. I'm looking for a high elf named Arendil. Do you know him? Well, handsome. I only provide one kind of service here. And information, ain't it? Besides, I never kiss and tell. What you see is what you get with me, sugar. So, if you're not interested in my company, I suggest you go to the bar and leave me be. Hmm. Well, I'm 
have never met a woman who doesn't like things made of gold. Maybe you'd like 1,500 gold? Well, baby, if you're feeling that generous, maybe I know a little. But I was hoping to get to know a handsome man like you a little better. Oh, that lean body and muscles. Oh, oh, such a pity. I might even spend some time with you for free someday. Tell me what you know about this man. About him? Nothing much. He's been here to see me a time or two. Not very, uh, impressive, if you ask me. But that's another story. You'd better not be wasting my time. Or my gold. Hold on, sweetie. I'm getting to it. All I really know is that another one of the girls said someone else came in here looking for him yesterday. She really? said instead of a tall mast, he was more like a limp sail. <laughs> but she You're said he sure did his share of talking. I guess if you can't be good at, well, you know, something else, talking is the next best thing. She said he was one of those kind you wouldn't want to tell any secrets to, if you know what I mean. He said his name was Mainin. Anyway, he said he would be taking a ship out of solitude back home soon. For all I know, he might still be there. Now, if you don't need me for anything else, I have customers to take care of. I bet you do, but thank you, that's all I needed. Mm, that's a pity, honey. Maybe some other time, but I'm here on business. Hi. <coughs> Who are these people anyway? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Until right. next time. Yeah, and you? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you know? What can I do for you? Nothing, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I guess I got what I needed. Time to... Hmm, all right. Have fun and be careful. All right, I'm back home in solitude to see someone inside the Winking Skeever. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and this enjoy the atmosphere. This is to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Hmm. Okay, so this must be Malin. Malin? I'm looking for a high elf named Arendil. Do you know him? What? Who? You must be mistaking me for someone else. I know no one by that name. The word is that you're involved in a slavery trading business. What? That's absolutely preposterous. I am very influential and can keep you out of jail if you talk. Is that so? Perhaps you're right. This job has become more than I bargained for anyway. Last warning. Talk! Very well. I will talk. But only if you guarantee me you'll let me sail back home. All right, agreed. Where is Arendil? I don't know. I never met him, actually. I only met with one of his associates, an old bandit named Gunlok. Some say his last name is Forktongue, but I wouldn't know about that for sure. All I know is that Arendil sends the um, product to Gunlok, and he takes care of getting them smuggled out of Skyrim. Where can I find this goon log? I don't know exactly where he is, but I know they smuggled the product out of Skyrim from an old shipwreck on the coast northwest of here. I heard they used an old frozen cave to hold the product, and then used boats to transfer them out to one of their ships at night. My shipment is supposed to be on its way there now. I swear to you, that is all I know. 
Your product will not be shipped as you hoped it would, if I can help it. No, I suppose it won't. Not now, at least. You will leave Skyrim on the next possible ship. Yes, yes, of course. As I said, I've already made those arrangements. And if I ever see you here again, you're a dead man. You needn't worry about that. Now then, I'll take my leave of you. Hi, Lisette. That's beautiful. I'm wondering. I think I'm going to do this on my own and not have a companion with me. Right, Orphan's Tear. The coin right, or let me put on my mask. Not... There, I'm ready. something all right that was someone just struck with a weapon Hello? Who's there? wouldn't you like to know as well interact with these people and get rid of my invisibility so I can reset it. They're invisible again. Alright, I take it everyone else is on board the ship? Or not, wait. 
Oh, there's somewhere else. All right, let's go invisible again. Please chill. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Kidnap victims. Child, are you all right? I, I don't seem to be able to set you free. Yes. All right, I guess I have to take out the bandits yes. first. See ya. Oh, really? Oh, you better hope you see me.
it's a wolf. Not a whole lot you can do when you're naked. I don't Sir? know who you are, friend, but thank you. Will you go check outside and make sure it's safe for us to leave? I heard that bandit say there's some others on the way to ship us out of here. Please, help us. That's my wife and son in there. I've got to help him. He's not going to make it if we don't hurry. All right, I'll be right back, and please calm down. I'll go see what I can do to get my family and the other man ready to get out of here. Please, make sure the coast is clear, and please hurry. All right, just please calm down. Which way am I going, anyway? I mean, I feel like I need to be going back to rescue those people. Or maybe I am going back, because this looks like a dead end. Is there anything in here, sir? Okay, can I free you now? Good afternoon. I cannot. See ya. Hmm? Mm hmm Need something? Not even mm -hmm. the child. Okay, well, let's keep going. The paralysis isn't permanent, but you may have a headache for a while. What have you done to me? I suppose there's no harm in you knowing. It's a spell from a very arcane and ancient school of magic. I am one of only a few who can wield it these days. For a lesser skilled being, its effects are more harmful to the caster than the victim. In recent times, many died simply trying to learn it, but I have mastered it, even if it does leave me a little tired. But I don't think you really want to talk shop, do you? No, of course not. You've caused me quite the bit of trouble, you know. But be that as it may, I'm glad to finally meet you face to face. Well... I'm glad I could help, but I can't say the feeling is mutual. Yes, charming to the last, I'm sure. But you do understand that it's simply a matter of my good graces that you're still alive, don't you? Do you think that slaughtering an entire dispatch of old Mary soldiers, including two justicias, would go unnoticed by the Dominion? Were it not for me... That fetid little town you're trying to rebuild would have been razed to the ground by now, and the Thalmor would have once and for all put an end to your pitiful little band of miscreants. Oh, you look surprised. But don't worry. I know everything. The town. This Marcus Janus, and most of all Valerius Tiberius Arturia, and his pathetic remnants of the Keepers of Hatu. They were also once a great thorn in my side, and, like you, 
caused me not a little bit of trouble in the past, but their time, his time, and yours has come to an end. You butchered his wife and children. What did you expect? Expect? I expect him to die, like all men will die or serve the Dominion. The era of men has come and gone. It is now the time of the Ultima. You know, we were once a very patient people, but that patience has worn thin. What do you want with me? Why haven't you killed me? I could have killed you, but I did not. Why? I already asked you that question. You must need me for something. Yes, good. You see, we're not so different, you and I. I killed his family and others. You killed my men at the prison. We're both murderers. It's all just a matter of perspective. I am nothing like you. Ah, but yes, you are. You will see that in time, if you live. All right, well, what is it that you want? I'm tired of playing this game. You will go get Valerius Tiberius Arturia and hand him over to me at the prison where you murdered my soldiers. I will never do such a thing. Oh, but there is where you're wrong. You will, or else your friend, Marcus Janus, will die. What? Marcus? What have you done with him? As I said, I know everything about you and your friends. I know that yesterday he decided to take a little stroll down to Riverwood. You know, you just can't be too careful these days. You never know when you might get kidnapped and brought to me. So, as you can see, you have little choice. Bring Valerius to me, and I might let Janus live. Don't bring him to me, and he will surely die, as will Valerius and you. So you see, Valerius is going to die, one way or another. This way, you at least get to spare the life of your friend. It's your choice. Now, you must sleep for a bit, and when you wake, you'll be back at the shore. You know what you must do. Oh! Now sleep. Guards, take him no, back to the shore. I can't move. Oh, what on earth? Oh, I'm back at that ship. was certainly out magic that time. All right, it looks like I have to go back to Helgen and give some bad news. Let me take off this mask, though. Let me find Val and tell him about his arch nemesis.